Good afternoon everybody, it's Lucinda and Trish from The Bees Knees and we are here this afternoon to show you lots of lovely new tins. Um, as has been the story this year, um, we've had trouble getting them into cut from customs but they finally made it and we have some fabulous new ones to show you. Tins are just so popular, right? Oh, absolutely, yes. And we're sitting here in this bright front room of our shop here. It's bright because the sun is shining and not only that, it's actually warm as well. It's like well, spring. relatively warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely day. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So we get all our tins um, through one supplier called Elite, Elite Tins in England, who are fabulous. They do all the Emma Bridge water ones as well. Um, so we've added more because people love them. During lockdown, we think everybody was reorganising. And... Um, restocking their tins so um here we go this are these lovely adorable cute animal ones are from um an artist called joe stockdale so we've got the classic what they call the deep rectangular mm -hmm. in the dachshund um, isn't that that's nice for easter isn't it yeah i think that duck there skating along with his uh, scarf flowing yeah, along fill beautiful it, easter colors fill it with treats uh, you know you can fit certainly fit some cookies and treats in there in that size so there's the duck, we've got the dachshund, and look at the kitten. Aww. Oh, we've got a bit of reflection. I hope you guys yeah. can see oh, this. Yeah, we do, don't we? There we go. So that's those. Whoops, sorry, tins are loud. We're going to be moving things that's off bad. to make room for more as we go. Yeah, we're going to pass it that way and pick more up off the floor here. And so. then there's the long, deep rectangle. Oh, as always, the long, deep rectangle is always a hinged tin okay so you, you don't lose the lid there and it's got the uh, that's a um jack russell jack. isn't it and i'm going to point out that there is another jack russell tin they kind of match aren't they cute and i that, think this was donna's when she saw them she yeah, loved that one. she loved that one yeah yeah they're lovely they're very cute and this is a smaller one but you could fit mints in or sweets or a gift card dog um, treats birthday gifts yeah dog yeah. treats um anything like that and then there are we have oh the black lamb oh. Isn't he gorgeous? It's a beautiful painting, and that's what she does. Joe Stockdale. She's an artist that paints animals, mostly animals. Yeah, these are called best friends, and another little kitty for the cat lovers. And then robins, which you know, any time of the year, but certainly at Christmas, and these have nice dotty. Uh, I think we do sell robins all year round. All People year love round. robins. Yeah. Um, so and then the, this is a three. They don't come as a set of three. You can buy them individually, but these are the smaller size. Slightly deeper, but nice square tin. So that is Joe Stockdale, brand new, all available on the website. And now, oh, um, the bunny for Easter. Well, yeah, because we're Easter. Right? We're in Easter. So this bunny um, here in the same sort of medium sized tin, isn't that a lovely Easter tin? And it's got like the same kind of round sides and it's very similar to the dog tins. Yeah. But that moves us on to Peter Rabbit. You haven't got the big one. Oh, I didn't get the big one. Wait a minute, folks. So Peter Rabbit, we all know and read Peter Rabbit when we were kids. Um, we have a small tin um, with daffodils. Again, a nice one for Easter treats. Um, um, Beatrix Potter. So these are good for the kids. Um, a tin of coloured pencils. And look, let me show in the lid. There's a little picture there of Peter Rabbit eating I don't want to hold carrot. it. Oh, doing his digging. The yeah. pencils. So that's really nice uh, gift for the kids too. We've got the hinge tin again. You can keep your pencils or your bits and bobs in there. Yeah, great for kids. We've sold a lot of those. That We've had that one for a while, so that's why it's been so popular. We added to the Peter Rabbit range. And we, I sometimes ask when people buy a tin, what do you put in them? Because I'm curious to know. And one day a lady came and bought lots of tins this size, and she was an artist. So she was keeping her paints in there, her paint brushes, and it was a great storage uh, solution for And somebody lived in Ipswich as a child. Ah. <laughs> Hi Nikki, hi there. Yeah. I can see all these people watching. Just want to give a shout out to Elizabeth McConnell in Florida who rang us this morning wanting to place an order and we helped her and she was very happy, I hope. Uh, <laughs> that'll be on its way to you tomorrow, Elizabeth. Thank um, you. Um, so yes, more Peter Cute, Diva's saying. So we have the egg, which have already been selling really well for Easter. Ones. We don't have too many of those left, but very cute little Easter egg for Peter Rabbit. And here's um, a little square money box, the slot there in the top. It's actually quite sturdy. And then you prize off the bottom when you want to get your money out when it's full up. And hopefully encourage the kids to save a little yeah. bit, perhaps. And let's see, we have these four little cute oval tins. Um, each um, are identified by a little slightly different colour on the edge of the... Um, Yes, if you're the making lead. the selection on the website, it's like it's pink, green, blue, purple, but the, yeah, the yeah. little pictures are different if you yeah. can see. And then the lid just uh, comes off like that. Keep your mints in there. There we go. Your bits and bobs. 
so why don't I talk about the tin, the little mini, and these are just a little cute um, thing from Matthew Rice, um, who was Emma Bridgewater's husband, and they're just really cute little for mints or pills maybe, or yeah, one with a cat, one that says seeds, and um, one that's the mother hen. So they're just very cute little, little knickknack, little Easter basket filler maybe. Yeah. Um, very cute. What have we got Should next? we stay with cute? Um, bless me. Cute and for the kids. Let's. Gosh, what am I going to find in here? I'm going this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Look at these little money boxes. Little piggies. Here we are. Here's one with little fairy cakes on. Um, and they come apart quite easily so you can... Uh, as a gift, it's lovely with a coin in it, you know, for your little kids. And then a red with the white heart on. The oh, traditional so, pink. Oh, Nikki bought the little shop tins we have um, oh, yeah. well, and filled them with chocolates. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, uh, and, you keep, and Yolanda keeps her office supplies in them. Oh, we've got a tin for everything, Yolanda. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. And, you know, everyone was into storage during the lockdown. And you can buy all these nice plastic containers to keep yourself organised. But... They don't give you so much joy when you're looking at them. No. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Isn't this fun? I mean, this one comes up and have a look. We've got a red one. We've got a blue one. I know, I've done this before. How do I do it? It's a challenge, Trish. Oh, God. No, that's the I'm bottom. Not up to, no. The six is the top. <laughs> She's challenged. I am. <laughs> uh, look at that. That's great with the hinge lid. And it fits snugly in the top there. So you've got a perfect dice. I have to tell you a funny story. So I'm in a Bunko group. Shout out to my Bunko ladies if anybody's watching. And we all laugh when we can't see the dice and say we, what it'll be like when we're playing old lady bunker. Guys, I found the old lady bunker. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a bit loud, but... Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> right. And also, um, along the lines of fun and novelty shapes, uh, great for your soccer playing um, children and husbands and wives. Comes apart like that, but it's a money box, so you can save up in there. And it stands up. Goes back together, I promise. And it stands up because it's slightly flattened on the bottom. And then we couldn't resist this one. Um, it, the end comes off, so for pencils and pens as well, or little knickknacks for, well, for anybody really, but probably kids um, or anybody who likes trains. It's the Flying Scotsman. Yes, it a is. Famous train. Yeah. train yeah. So I love that one too. And um, whilst we're on novelty. One of my favourites, this one, and I'm going to grab a few pieces of his. Start with the uh, hinged um, long tin. But they're not, the, the beauty, this is Paul Thur Thurlby. And then we've got the traditional English queue. If you're English, you know how to queue. Um, yes. Apparently. <laughs> apparently we Brits know how. It all goes to pot when you go abroad. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got uh, Wimbledon on the front. What have we got? Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. I guess and that's probably the embankment. People sunbathing and the London cab. Yeah. So unique, different artists, but very cute, very popular in the shop. Look, this is what I use at home for a tea caddy. It's got a slight screw on the lid, so it fits very snugly. It's quite square. You can get a good, uh, just about 80 tea bags in there. Amy's asking for any rugby tins. Um, you know what? We mm. haven't seen that, but that's definitely something to watch out for. The Beatles, Abbey Road, you've got the London bus, but they're just bright, colourful, fun pictures. And new to the Paul Thurby range, we've got these little pocket tins with a hinged lid. There we go. We've got uh, the London Eye, the London bus. What does it say? Right, the Royal Guards <laughs> and the Underground. And they do actually do a tin tray in this. If you look on our website, there's a round tin tray with the Underground picture on it that matches all those In items. the tin category, um, and it's all search under Paul Thurby. Um, but really unique, fun, different designs. So, um, well, we're on tea and tea caddies. Can we move on to some more tea caddies? That's oh, not I thought the... you were going to offer a cup of tea. Yeah. I'm ready for a cup of tea. Oh, I have, have to wait till after this. So we have <laughs> several tea caddies in different shapes. We haven't got the one with the teapots on. Oh, no. Well, we have the one with the teapots on that we've had for a long time that we just restock and restock because everybody it's, loves it. It's slightly bigger than these ones. But they call them the wavy edge caddy because they've got, I don't know if you can see the wavy edges. I can hold it up right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And the crown jewels. These are three Emma Bridgewater designs. The new um, partridge. It's got a lovely sort of gold um, paint uh, finish to it, hasn't it? Yep. And this is the architecture range. Um, 
by Emma Bridgewater in the same shape. We also do this shape in pink hearts. And, yes, uh, pink hearts. Yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. And they all come with a matching tin tray, and I'm going to show you that tin tray in the partridge, because this is totally new, this pattern. The partridge in a pear tree. So you can get this with the pink hearts in. This comes in buttercup. You can get the Paul Thurvey one, you can get the architecture yeah, one. We have um, the like cupcakes, fresh eggs from Martin Wiscombe. So just search top left, um, search tin trays and they'll all come all up. come up, yeah. Um, to see, or send us a message and we yeah. can... Uh, but look at that one. Can you see the gold sort of shimmering away? And that matches the, the new caddy we have. And it also comes with a rectangular tin in the range as well. And it works the same size, my true love sent to me. Oh, my a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's love a that. Bit out of new... season, but it's been very popular. Yes. Say. So, so, what are we going to do next? Shall like we... a magic show, we just keep. Well, we were things. doing trays. Let's move to trays, and come back to a favourite shape of tray for us, isn't it? Um, yeah. We've had lots and lots of designs of this through, you know, the times. We've got plenty of strawberry ones here. Now, if you'll notice, with this tray, it's got a really deep, I would say, a three-inch side to it sturdy handles it's great for carrying things out to the garden you know your teapot your you know your cakes and all sorts of your things. gin and tonic yeah yeah and with your gin and tonic you stumble a bit the side there stops it from falling off the... <laughs> <laughs> sorry that no. i was just referring to you <laughs> <laughs> but no one of our favorites i have three of these myself i use them all the time they're very very um useful we have it in strawberries we have it in polka dot we have it in black toast at the moment and we have an undersea one as well so. and then the uh, the very popular tea in the garden one is going to be coming soon hopefully yeah that yeah. sells out so quickly um we struggle to keep it in stock so that's called the steel tray hi oh. tracy we need you on the video really <laughs> i'm dropping things on the floor you landed you two are lovely <laughs> oh thank you you're so sweet so. yeah have a pile of trays so yeah. these are the brand new ones from emma bridgewater which are so she's got all the tin trays um hi audrey <laughs> i see you there um and these are made of birch and it, uh, they are um eco-friendly for a green future it says and they're handmade in sweden um and it says they're dishwasher safe i'm not sure i would do that but it's too big for the but they're really it, lovely yeah. um so that's in polka dot the emma bridgewater bumblebee this is one of my favorite the lemons just gorgeous we have a lot of that range in plates and bowls and such and they yeah. look fabulous don't they with that, yes. lemon, that we the took some yellow pick. and green pan is beautiful and then the other favorite well I mean, they're all just my favorite what can i say the strawberries which is like the tin one so you could mix Same and match um and we have cake tins in this um hi fiona how are you um um, and tins to match the strawberry range and then the classic black whoop, black toast of course which everybody loves so they're nice size they're not too big but certainly cup of tea biscuits they're very lightweight isn't it i think yeah. that's the thing about them and they're very easy to store they're quite shallow um and you can keep you know, tuck them in the way quite easily and then of course everybody loves the pink hearts mm -hmm. and then we also have a bunch of new products that we're adding from sophie allport um, and these are, I think they must be made at the same place because these are the same, the birch, eco-friendly tray made in Sweden. And they've got that there in their B range. But we'll bring that new range of Sophie will talk to you at a later date, I think. We're still adding to the website. We're still adding. So we were on the strawberries and bumblebees. I've got to get up now and bring a few things over. Shall we bumblebee then? So the yeah. bumblebee um, range from Emma Bridgewater, popular. Um, so they've brought out the um, a biscuit barrel. Um, which are just really popular and they have you can see they have a seal and you they, they do keep your, your biscuits your cookies your crackers fresh and then the super popular string tins so they come with the ball of string for the garden or for whatever you need if you're packing parcels but just a super cute way to um keep it from getting all tangled up yep keep and you just pull it out and bits. every tin we have um these in the rabbit and cabbage the potting shed and they all do come with the, the, the string included so that's a good way to start it's, then, one, it's, it's quite new so no, that's the, the um yeah the rabbit and cabbage from thornback and peel really popular mm -hmm. the rabbit how tall is the biscuit barrel diva one and do you have any do i have any idea i'm gonna say oh william morris patterns we don't kathy no that's something we should look into Nine, yeah the, inches, the biscuit barrel is probably yeah about 10 inches i think yeah that's um, a, the same same design same thing in the, the rabbit and cabbage design 
Yeah. Which is so lovely. It's got a nice matte finish to it. The thorn bag and peels have the matte finish, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, yes, you can see. Yeah, I would say 10, 11 inches even. Quite. But really certainly really big enough for a couple of packets of digestives. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm peering out from behind this tower, so let's go on to that. This is, again, that same strawberries range which we have in the tins. Uh, the trays and you know that we have the oblong tin as well yeah lovely i think my favorites and of course these nest inside each other so you know you only got to store one um, it comes all packed in there we go and then the little one goes in there you take them out and look at that isn't it gorgeous we actually have an emma bridge mug that matches this checkered um, yes there's blooming good tin. tea on it we yeah should take which is a great yeah. yeah but they're lovely really well made tins um and just nice to have to pour yourself fresh in your baked goods biscuits crackers. fairy cakes big cakes yeah you're all set for the week there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh and also we need to fill them with us but that's us. right yeah and they're also in that range again because it's so bright and spring like isn't it it's nice to have those um things are these caddies it's a set of three um it comes with a slightly different um, check design there it says scrumptious yeah it is okay so a set of three caddies and they're great for keeping your tea sugar you know provisions like that in mary lee says she loves all the blue and white behind us thanks mary lee that is our burley um which on the website you'll see it's one of the three brands at the top very popular handmade in england but yes it's gorgeous it's worth taking a look at to be sure so yeah, they were the set of three strawberry tins. Sorry, try not to get distracted. Now, uh, what do you want to go next? Well, let's go... do the other new Emma Bridgewater. Oh, yeah. So much to show you. This was such a big order. We had to restock after the holidays. And um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been crazy. There we go. And these, again, and I guess I love all these fruit and vegetable ones. Um, these nest like the strawberry ones, but a square. So with the blackberries the plums and the apples just absolutely stunning from emma bridgewater um i just don't have enough room it's for huge. all of them i mean i will say that what, is that a 12 or is, at least it's a 12, 12 or yeah, a 14 inch, yeah it's yeah. a big tin a very big tin and it has uh they also have the um you know this deep rectangular tin with the apples on as well look at that that's just an individual oh, just, one its own but yes. just lovely um, for gifting or just keeping it at home and also the nice. strawberries, that same tin um, design that's on the trays and stuff. Yeah, love them all. And another set of three caddies that also matches that, you know, tower of cake tins that you can keep your provisions in with the apples, the plums and the... <laughs> I deep, I can't get over all the Inuib stuff I know, isn't it crazy? We're struggling to keep up, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't move back here now. That's yeah, that's great. Shall we... Um... And then finally, we've got some... Um, what are called nostalgia tins we've had the nostalgia tea caddy um and uh, we did have a set of two cake tins which they're not doing anymore but we just thought all these we were taking pictures with these on sunday donna and i trish wants to get in a car and drive her to your shop but I, oh St. Louis, that's too bad maybe you can take a trip to boston and come and see us we'd love that um so these are really lovely what's called nostalgia so we also think we were taking pictures we op we opened a bag of oh <gasps> Um, what are those? They're Twirls. 12 bites. Wait a minute, okay. And these are like a flake mm. covered in chocolate and little bits. Mm. Really oh. good. Oh, oh, no. No, take them away. Oh, put them away. But anyway, <laughs> you can fill these little tins, like for Easter or any gift, really. Um, a smaller one, and then there's the bigger one. I like the edges on these. They're more like little boxes, aren't they? As opposed to, what was in that one? <gasps> what Maltesers. Oh, I love Maltesers. Oh. Mm. Okay, that's our allocation for today. All right, take more. Come on. <laughs> Are these one in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, we did used to have a tin like this shape. I think it's crown jewels or something that we don't have. But it's sort of, it's a very um, elegant tin. You open it up, it's almost like a jewellery box, isn't yeah. it? But for chocolates, well, not for chocolates, for anything. For anything, really, but they just say, because kind of in that nostalgia feel, um, they have those kind of old style, thing, vintage, vintage, I guess you could call it, too. Yeah. And that's one we had um, from the range um, before, which has got... Also got the hinge lid. She's not good with the hinge lid. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then this one that just says chocolate finest quality. So just great for putting gifts in and or storing your own things in. Um, lots of different sizes to choose from as well. And this one, we've, we've had this for a while. Uh, it's great. We've been displaying our chocolate bars in it. But if you get like a standard size, like you can fill it up as a gift and then on with the lid, it's like a little milk churn. 
I think that's really, really cute. Really cute. Yeah, I love that. So again, for fill it with chocolate. Um, we're not going to open those and try those. Trish. I'll tell you what, we forgot them. The sewing tins, but. Oh, well, we have a couple more, but we're probably out of time <laughs> yes. for today. Yes. I um, hope you love everything. Um, it's all on the website. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We appreciate you watching. And that's it. I think that's it for today. And um, have yeah. a great rest of the day. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Because there's more new products coming every day. So we'll be here to let you know about them. And you know, I can only. I look, own the yellow tin with the flowers. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's yes, right. that's yes, right. Yes, I remember. Yes, yeah. Lovely. Thanks right. for shopping with us, Yolanda. We appreciate it. All right, guys. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, where's those Maltesers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to finish it.